everyone. So today we're gonna go over a quick and easy tip about how you can share um, different AOM and QC reports with users outside of your environment. So specifically for managers or project admins that don't necessarily have access to ALM all the time and you're continually having to pull reports and you send them out via email or you know putting word more documents in SharePoint etc. This is going to save you a little bit of time and hopefully improve some efficiencies throughout your organization to help share these reports. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this defects by person report. As you can see it's a project report. I have all my configurations set. Um, all that kind of good stuff. So the way we're going to do this is if you right click on the report that you're looking to share, hit the share analysis item, you'll see there's a couple different options. This first one that's going to require authentication, whoever's going to look at the report is still going to need to be validated against your ALM environment. Um, so what we're going to look at today, which we see is very beneficial, is the, the, public, the public URL item. Therefore, you have teams or different admins or managers that don't have, aren't registered users in ALM and you don't want them taking up a license to see these reports and you're trying to save some time rather than exporting them and sending them out. This is going to be the option you're going to want to choose. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and select it. You're going to hit OK. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and use our Confluence environment to show you guys how this could be used in yours. Um, so whether it be SharePoint, Confluence, whatever you guys use for your team collaboration, um, if you're sending out a weekly email and you want this to live in that email template, you could do that as well. Um, I'm going to have to name this. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the links. Don't mind my bad typing. I'll go ahead and just save this. So now you can see the link lives there. Once I select this link, going to go ahead and open up this report and as you can see we've got a graph laying in this defects report you can see that so one of the big benefits that you can take to your advantage of this is having it configured to auto update um, to do that you're going to have to add some parameters within site admin and you will need a site admin to do this for you so there's two that specifically speak to the share analysis as you can see, there's this one, which is the graph result lifespan, and this is going to be if you're sharing graphs to public URLs. Um, the minimum value is actually five minutes, so you would have to set this to five, or say you want to do it every 60 minutes, whatever you decide your refresh rate needs to be, that's where you put in that value. And the same goes for the report, and this one allows you to share the project reports and gives the time set of how quickly you would like them to auto-update. So once those are set, you would see that it would take place right away. Um, so the way we're going to test this out is I'm going to go ahead and go change some of those defects over here. We're going to change who they belong to so that way we can see the update in our report later. Um, we'll go ahead and change some of Dean's over to myself. We'll just do a few of these so you can see the difference in numbers. And like I said, it is pulling back from the server every five minutes. So we might have to wait a little bit of time to see it. So right now you can currently see I have six defects assigned to me where Dean Carvin has seven. So go ahead and go back, get out of this report, let it sit for a minute. Um, we're done inside admin, so I can close this out. But go back up to the analysis view. Hasn't been quite five minutes yet, but we'll go ahead and wait. And as you can see, if we were to go ahead and reconfigure this on the server side and preview it, you're going to see the defects go. Mine go to nine, and Dean's go to four. So we change those over. Um, so in about five minutes, when we go ahead and click into here, we'll see that updated. In the meantime, to show you some other cool things. So you can do this, you could use the share analysis item with graphs as well. Um, one good thing to tell you about it, if you use this reset analysis item, public URL, what that's going to do is actually invalidate this URL completely. So if you were to go to click into this and after it's been invalidated, whoever clicks in, whether they're authenticated users or not, it's going to give them a 404 error because the page no longer exists for obvious reasons. One thing to note is that old 
standard reports, um, specifically like this is a defect report that, that I believe they were discontinued in version 12, but you can still use them with an ALM. However, they don't have the sure analysis item. Scorecards do. You can also use your live analysis pages to embed them into a, another shared site so that people can look at those that way as well. So those are just some quick features. Um, let's go ahead and see if this is updated as yet. So it might not quite have been five minutes, so what, six, seven, so it hasn't updated just as yet. Let's go ahead and give it a couple minutes. We'll probably do a time lapse so that you can see this. But anyway, so there you have it. And that is how we share project reports outside of ALM to users. And hopefully that helps you guys save some time. Thanks. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.